close that up and send him a copy to proofread when my phone rings. My phone never rings. It's the elementary school. Oh, yay. Yeah, 
I had to go and get him. Okay, I see a spot over here. Bring him home. He's immediately all chipper and playing with Legos and whistling and humming, asking to listen to Christmas music, saying, can't we go get smoothies? I'm like, what the hell, man? I made an appointment for the doctor. If you get picked up, you're going to the doctor. The first available is at 1.50, which is fine because I'm gonna be busy. I was stopping at Lidl to pick up cookies to put in these boxes, and then I gotta get going back to middle school to do the cookie exchange. So yeah, I gotta go. He's at home, I made him lunch before I left, and it's gonna be a non-stop day. sleep before I spoke with you because it's just been, the day's been too much I know you heard a lot of the beginning I was off to get cookies I got cookies Lidl has great cookies I filled one box with glazed gingerbread like my favorite of their cookies that they have out of Christmas so good my second favorite is the Danish butter cookies with cinnamon so I got those but I also got some of the ones with the big crystals of sugar that are pretzel shaped. I have a cut here and it just started stinging. I need to put some stuff on it. Take it down. There you go. Yeah, so I had enough time to buy those real quick on the self-check. No, I didn't use the self-check. I went through the regular line. She was nice and fast. I'm very slow with the self-check. And then I put in for a hot tea at the Starbucks a few stores down. Luckily, it wasn't too bad of a wait. There's always, when I get just a straight up tea bag and hot water, it takes so much longer than like an espresso drink. But it wasn't too bad. The person making the coffee got all confused because it didn't say what kind of milk or latte. It just said brewed chai, and I guess she was like not used to that but they i heard them say oh that's the tea bag i usually get the peach tranquility when i get hot tea there but apparently they don't have it anymore which is really sad because it was so good so good so i just got a chai i didn't want a chai latte just a chai i just wanted a nice hot tea for getting me through the whole teacher thing it is caffeinated but it's fine one was fine I think half of it is in my car still. My hands are too full. Anyway, I grabbed that and then drove to the middle school. And every time I was at a red light, I was cutting open cookie bags and starting to put the cookies in the, the bins so that I was almost done by the time I got to the middle school. There's a lot of really long red lights. And yeah, quickly wrote a little card for each one so it says what they are. I had brought a Sharpie and some cards. And then boxed them all up, grabbed my tea and the cookies and my ID and headed over to the school doors. Somebody was right behind me and it turned out to be my fellow volunteer. She was super nice. And one of her sons is Sebastian, but hers is a middle schooler. <laughs> So when I signed up for this, I was like, great, I did the cookie exchange last year. That was a lot of fun. But I also want to do the teacher appreciation meal that they do like twice a year. And I was wondering if maybe they'd add that sign up later. But it turned out they combined them this year. So there was a whole brunch set up from a local restaurant. I was jealous. Breakfast is the best meal no matter what time of day it is. And then all the cookies, we had about half of them out. 
but we wanted to make sure to save a lot of them for the third lunch of the eighth grade teachers because they always get the shaft, all the food's gone. <laughs> but yeah, they had a little bit of everything left. There were some things that were pretty low, but plenty of the main stuff like eggs and French toast and potatoes. So that was good. But yeah, it was really nice. I stayed a little longer than my shift because I wanted to see some of the eighth grade teachers. They don't eat till like 8.15, I think they come in. So I got to see a few of Jax's teachers, his civics, his English, his old computer science teacher who he still does club with, and his old history teacher who's amazing, and he is teaching civics for 8th grade this year, but Jax just didn't get him, but he still talks to him all the time, so that's great. But yeah, all the PTA volunteers were amazing and wonderful. And yeah, it's great seeing the teachers. I love being there. There was adorable gingerbread houses that the eighth grade facts class, basically home ec, did. And the teachers were all voting for those. And yeah, when my alarm went off for 30 minutes till I had to be at the doctor's, I said my goodbyes and headed out a message to Danny that I was on the way home and Sebastian should get ready to go. So he was like ready, ready. I was just thinking he needs to like turn off his game and make sure he has shoes on and stuff. But he was like coat on, shoes on, out the door standing on the porch when he saw my car pull up. So I'm like, okay, I guess we're going right now. Definitely wouldn't be late. I had to run in and get him a mask because when you are Going to a sick appointment there you still need a mask when you're in the, the lobby or like out in the hall getting weighed or something like that so i grabbed him i had already put away all the cloth masks in his size because he just doesn't wear them i do have a bin of my n95s because that's the only kind i wear now and i put a bunch of kid ones in the back in case of going to the doctor pretty much because he doesn't wear them any other time and i grabbed one with hot dogs on it because he was supposed to have hot dogs at lunch he was so excited about it and i'm like well you didn't get your hot dogs so i get you a hot dog mask so look at that he perked up about having to wear a mask and that it was a hot dog mask and the nurse ended up like saying oh i love your mask it's making me hungry and then when the doctor came in afterwards she's like the nurse was just telling me about your amazing hot dog mask, so he's really proud of his mask. Anyway, at the doctor, she didn't see anything in his ears. He's never had an ear infection, he's never had ear pain, so I, I kind of believe him that he was having pain, because that's not something he would know to make up to get out of school. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I already knew that he had no fever, because the school nurse told me that, but... I, he had had a headache a couple days ago that it required medicine, like, and it seemed like a sinus headache, like here. And I, when I said that to her and that the headache was back, she's like, oh, is it right here? Like the doctor, that sounds like sinuses. I was like, yeah, that's what I told him. And we had been talking about what sinuses were. <laughs> um, but when I was gone at volunteering, apparently his back started hurting. So we let her know that too. Funny enough, in his ears, the one that he said was hurting was fine, and the other one looked a little red, but not like an ear infection. <laughs> tons of post-nasal drip, like tons. He's always snotty when school's in session. He's never not snotty. She had him blow his nose, and it wasn't like yakky colors. There's a lot of snot, but it's mostly like clear. <sighs> so she's like, well, maybe it's just some sort of a virus. There's a lot of RSV going around and colds but she spent a lot of time listening to his lungs and she was hearing a wheeze, which concerns her. He's really tiny. If that progressed to pneumonia, it could go really bad really fast. I've had Jax have pneumonia when he was around that age and he lost like pounds of weight. He was so frail and weak from that. It was so rough. So I was like, well, yeah, we, <laughs> that's concerning. So she went and got a nebulizer treatment and gave it to him. Their nebulizer is the shape of a seal, which is the cutest freaking thing. Mine is just boring. 
But she, we did the nebulizer. The nurse ended up just leaving us. And it's like, mom, you know how to use these. You can turn it off when it's all done. So I monitored it and turned it off. They were getting a little busy at this point. But when the doctor came in and listened to him again to see if it helped, it was still the same, unfortunately. It didn't help. So she decided to go ahead and treat like she would if somebody is like developing pneumonia because she wanted to make sure he doesn't get it. But the, the antibiotic she wanted to give him is the horrible, horrible, horrible one they went, gave us for a sinus infection last year. What is it called? I had the name in my head all afternoon, but now it's gone. But it's like a combo one that's really strong. And it was horrible for him. It gave him horrible diarrhea. So bad that I had to send him with like a change of clothes for the bottom half you couldn't trust a fart it's like so bad he was miserable and then a rash started all over your body and they're like there's nothing you can do just keep taking it i can't give him anything for this we can't stop the medicine and he was up all night crying sobbing and making us rub itch ointment on him taking oatmeal baths it's just every night all night long nobody was getting any sleep especially me because i was the one rubbing oatmeal lotion on his feet at one in the morning so we're not doing that one we are doing amoxicillin which he just had earlier this school year for strep throat which it's the one they like to do for strep throat but he was given seven milliliters her dose for strep and she's given him a big old dose of 11 milliliters so I think she's just like trying to go hard with it since it's not the exact one they prefer for like lung infections so man I wish I could remember the name of that one it'll pop into my head randomly when I'm trying to sleep I feel like it starts with an A too but it's just not in my head right now can't access that file. She also said something about giving me a prescription for nebulizer treatments just so I could have it on hand. And I was like, oh, okay, how long would those last? And she's like, oh, they, they usually expire in about a year, depending on how old the supply at the pharmacy is. So I was assuming that we would pick up amoxicillin and the albuterol when we went to get his medicine. But that didn't happen. It was just antibiotics, so I don't know what's going on with that. She did send me home with the mask they use so that I'd have a mask for our machine because I only have Jax's old mask. But yeah, I don't know what the status of that is. It didn't help anyway. So I don't know. He really wants to do another one because he liked it. He's <laughs> like, it's, the air smells and tastes nice. I like it. And he thought it was relaxing, but it didn't actually help. So I don't know. Anyway, we started asking for a hot dog while we were there. And I'm like, oh, where can I get you a hot dog? 7 Eleven. <laughs> so we pay our copay and drive across the street to the gas station where there's a 7 Eleven. And I had to figure out how to buy a hot dog. There's me like standing here looking at. There's one hot dog that wasn't a spicy hot dog. So I'm like, okay, great, but where are the buns? <laughs> like right in front of my face in what I thought was just like the base of the little hot dog warmer. It says buns here. <laughs> Pull for buns or something. And I was like, oh, when you pull it down and there's like buns in little plastic baggies. So yeah, I got it figured, I got it sorted. He saw a sign for a Slurpee. He's like, can I have a Slurpee? I'm like, oh my God. But there's like signs for like a dollar small Slurpee. But I thought it was with like a reward card and I didn't have it. I'm like, well, whatever. I just want to get out of here. So I had the the hot dog and a small Slurpee that I made for him and it came to $3.33. That's obscenely cheap. That's, see, crap food is so cheap. It's so easy to be unhealthy here because the cheap food is the shitty food. But he had his second lunch. I had already made him lunch before I left to volunteer, but he was happy. He didn't eat all the bread because their hot dogs are big. They're called big bites. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be long. Okay, so yeah, I got get him home. He ate. What did I do at that point? I updated 
Danny. And then I didn't have a whole lot of time before I had to go get Jax. I just worked on a little crochet square. No, I did edits. I had edits for that menu. Just a few. Sent that off. And then I did a crochet square. And then went off to Carline because when Jax had gotten out of the car, when I dropped him off, he's like, don't forget to pick me up. Close the door and I'm like, it's totally gonna be like almost 60 degrees when you go home, it's not cold, but too late. I was committed to it. And sure enough, when I was almost to the front of the car line after sitting there for my 20 minute wait, so fun, <sighs> not bitter, he messages, so are you gonna come get me? I'm like, I'm already here. I'll be to the front of the line soon. <laughs> I could see him at that point, but it still was another four or five minutes before I made it the 20 more cars. He was happy as a clam, <laughs> just like Sebastian when I picked him up from school. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind if it didn't suck so fucking much. I don't mind driving him. Everybody just moves along. You kick your kid out the car and keep going. But going there, everybody goes before the school lets out and they just sit there and you don't have a room to go anywhere. Everybody's just stuck there. And then after the kids get out, they're all going to their lockers. They're trying to find the, the car so nobody's moving for another 10 minutes after it gets out. It's just hell. It's so bad. I hate it so much. But yeah, I got him home. And then I think I pretty much went between trying to fix my email and trying and just crocheting and stressing out. But email had been trickling in on two of my three accounts, but not our main one. That one was all screwed up. They lost all the passwords. They corrupted. So they finally fixed, like wiped them out for Danny so he could go into the admin and make new passwords. So at this point, I was like in the bath. Danny had picked up the medicine for me because I really didn't want to go out anymore. I used like a quarter of a tank of gas today. He went out and picked up the medicine and some dinner. We ate. I went off to a bath and I tried to set up my phone and it was, the entire bath is just me trying to get my stupid phone to accept that life had changed. <laughs> It was very happy when I put the new password in to remove all of my email. I just saw them go poof, 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 deleting because what they've done is made a brand new server and finally allowed all of the emails that were trying to get in but couldn't because they were blocked because it was dead. They're coming in, but they don't have any of our old mail. It's all on a backup that they slowly need to replace. So. Yeah, because it's IMF, it's a live look at the server. It's all just suddenly, oh, that's not there anymore. So I just watched years of email just boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and then it still wouldn't show me the new emails. It was so frustrating. I was restarting and everything. I had to completely delete the account off my phone and put it back on before it would recognize it. So that was really frustrating. And then Danny is getting an exercise bike from someone I mean, they're great, but I hate them too because they're huge. And I was like, okay, well, we can get rid of the little toddler art table down in the basement on my side of the room. He's like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But no, he wants to clear the entire side. He's like, what's this cabinet? I'm like, that's my yard cabinet I go to like once a week. It's like, oh, I guess we can find a place for it. He just wants to get rid of everything. He's like, this thing is six foot diameter. I need all the space. He didn't say it like that, but that's how it felt. I felt attacked. Oh, I, I just feel stressed. I feel stressed. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through it. We don't need all that stuff. I need my cabinet, but we don't need all the stuff. I'd love to have the art easel, so I don't know where that's gonna go. It's like amazing, and I want Sebastian to get more into art. We used it a lot for Jax throughout homeschooling. I just I don't know if I have a spot for it, but. He was like already wanting to get into things and carrying toys up and dumping them on the floor of the playroom, which is already a disaster. I'm like, I don't have room for any of this. I'm freaking out because it was already so messy in there and I'm stressed and oh God, this video is so long. So finally he stopped and I'm like already trying to do bedtime. So 
I messaged him, I'm like, when do you need this gone? When are you coming back with the bike? He's like, oh, not till evening, we've got time. I'm like, okay, because I'm done today. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. This is gonna take forever to upload. <laughs> Because I've just been talking so long. Thank you for listening to me. You guys who make it to the end of these long rants. You are my loves. Thank you. You're my besties. I love you so much. Thank you for listening to me. I can feel that you listen to me. <sighs> okay. Good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget. Wash your hands.